Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 14th of October. The local media headlines today. Pressure is growing for an immediate full public inquiry into the government's handling of Covid as the relatives of nearly 140,000 dead people come to terms with the House of Commons use of that phrase worst ever public health failure. Britain's death rate is amongst the worst in the world and is definitely the worst in Europe. There's pressure too for an inquiry in Cornwall, notwithstanding the fact that County Hall has already congratulated itself for its heroic leadership. Covid is clearly getting worse rather than better and there's a growing feeling that greater transparency is essential if the public is to have confidence in its council. The Leisure Centre's rumpus is also overdue for a dose of transparency as protesters plan to march on County Hall next Tuesday demanding to know the real reasons for the loss of local sports facilities. And if you want to know how the council is planning its major capital investments then look away now. The previous attempt at a culture of no surprises is being replaced with a new culture in which everything will be a surprise. And finally Cornwall Reports had some bad news for fans of the council offices in St Austell, soon to become a prime building site. The Falmouth packet was among those to worry if this year's remembrance service in Truro will go ahead. Last year it had to be cancelled because of Covid. Truro City Council has now told the packet that the service is definitely on and that it will publish details soon. The BBC reported a plea from health chiefs to collect relatives from hospital if they've been given the all clear to return home. There are currently 284 hospital beds in Truro occupied by people who don't need to be there. Pirate FM continued its coverage of sexual misconduct allegations against local police officers saying that all such claims are investigated. The Cornish Times promoted a stargazing evening at Sibleyback Lake and finally Cornwall Live wondered if it might snow. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.